What's up guys? I'm coming at you with another foundation video. I am really on the hunt for the perfect foundation lately and obviously I still have some old favorites that I use every day but I don't know. I'm on a foundation journey right now. So I finally got my hands on not a new foundation but this is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. So I know they have two. There is this one and then there's a serum foundation by the same brand and just having oily skin, I just didn't really think that the serum one was gonna work well for me. So I opted for the high coverage foundation. This was very, very affordable. It was under $7 and if you are in Canada, I ordered this on Hudson's Bay website and I'd never seen it there before and I've never seen it anywhere else in Canada, at least not in my city. So if you're wondering, that's where I got it. I picked up the shade 1.0N, which describes itself as very fair and the N stands for neutral. I sometimes have luck with formulas that say they are neutral. Sometimes they're okay, sometimes they're a little bit too pink on me. Packaging is okay, I think it makes sense given the very low price point. I don't love this kind of soft black texture because I haven't even used it yet and already just from touching it, it's like so dirty. And you do get the full 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce in this foundation just says to shake it up. I actually have no idea what I just did with the box. So we're going to look on the website and read its claims. It looks like it comes in about 22 shades, I think. Most of them look pretty light. And then an extra six are like medium. And then there's like three deeper shades. It says it is alcohol free, oil free, nut free. I didn't know they put nuts in foundation. It is vegan, gluten free, soy free, cruelty free. It is a smooth finish that avoids the heavy makeup look. The texture is that of a lightweight, non oily cream. It said it is high coverage with a semi matte finish. I'm looking at the ingredients and I do see like dimethicone, a couple of other cones, but it has a pretty good rating so Let's give it a go. I also can't find my headband, so. Ooh. Okay. It's kind of runny. The color looks pretty good. I would say this is um, a neutral shade that is slightly leaning warm. It definitely is not pink. Um, that was about two pumps, so I'm gonna start with that. I do have my Real Techniques sponge here and it says that it's full coverage so I'm gonna, I don't know, try that much I guess. I do have some breakouts on my face. I mean that looks like nice coverage with a sponge, I wouldn't really say that it was necessarily full coverage. It does have a slip to it. It doesn't necessarily feel super greasy, um, but it is a very slippery, thin cream. It does still kind of feel a little bit oily. I mean, that looks absolutely beautiful. It looks so smooth and like glowy and like natural like it just looks like my skin but like a little bit better and the coverage i would say is about medium uh, we may be able to get a little bit more with the brush so i'm just going to use like a little round brush this is by the brand quo that you can get at shoppers drug mart here in canada and so let's try this side the brush. Um, if you feel like the camera is moving, it's because it is. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid, like I've got kind of a little bit of a glare on this side of my face, so hopefully that doesn't mess up this video. I mean, I'm not joking when I say this is 
probably the most beautiful foundation application that I've ever tried. Like it looks so, so pretty. Like I somehow look glowy, but like not super oily. Okay, this glare has got to go. I think both sides look pretty well equally good. If I had to pick a side, I'd probably pick the sponge. Either way, I would say it's about medium. I could probably get it to more of a full if I uh, built it up. So maybe I'll just try a tiny little bit on my acne scars here. I mean, yeah, I think that was, I think that built up pretty good actually. I think this is a formula that you need to be careful not to use too much of. I feel like if you use too much, it could just really sit on top of the skin. It kind of feels like it's going to set like more of a gel foundation, very similar to the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation or the Stellar Beauty Foundation that I love. Kind of feels like that right now. It's almost like a touch of the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Nude, like the Water Fresh foundation. It's kind of like an odd mixture of those two foundations. I don't really think it has a scent, which is really, really nice. The color is pretty good. I think it oxidized like a tiny bit, but it is nowhere near orange. I think if you're around my skin tone, the, what did I get, 1.0N was really great for me. But I'm pretty sure they have like um, a few different varieties of undertones to choose from, which is great. I actually don't know if I've ever seen a review on this foundation. I just don't know if I've watched it. I, I might have, but I don't remember anyone like raving about it. And I'm, I'm here to rave. Now that it's been on for about five minutes, I can feel it setting down more and more. So that at least gives me hope that this is going to be a foundation that, you know, won't melt off in one hour. I do think that if you have oily or combo skin and you want this to really set and probably last all day, I feel like, I just feel like this is gonna be a foundation that you're gonna wanna powder. If you have a drier to normal skin type, I think you can totally just get away with how this is on its own because it is kind of setting but it's not like that super long lasting powder finish. By the way, I did not apply like any primer uh, before applying this foundation and I mean, I'm not really a powder girl so even though I do have oily skin, I probably wouldn't apply powder on top of this just because I feel like it would really take away from how beautiful the finish is. So far it hasn't like sunk into my lines. Like I have used foundations that have like immediately sunk into my lines, which sucks because like that gives me no hope for the rest of the day. Um, and so far so good. It just, it did not accentuate any kind of dryness or texture. Like sometimes I got like a little bit of bumpy skin kind of down here. It looks good on my nose, which like, I just, I never can find a foundation that looks good on my nose. So, I mean, that's amazing. But we are gonna see how this foundation wears for a full work day, which actually isn't today. If you've watched my videos, you know sometimes I like to do when I can a foundation review on a work day. Like I work a nine to five. So like I'm out of the house, I'm doing stuff. I'm not just like sitting at home on my computer all day. So I'm gonna be doing my wear test tomorrow and we'll obviously see how this wears. Hey guys, I'm doing my wear test for this Ordinary Foundation today. I probably put it on a little less than 45 minutes ago, maybe like half an hour. I do feel like this could get a little bit oily. Like even though it feels set, I don't know, it doesn't feel as heavy duty, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll be wearing this all day at work, so I will be checking back in with you guys after a full like nine hour, actually I'll be a little bit later today, so maybe a little over nine hours, and we'll see how this wears. Hey guys, it has been a very long day. Uh, this foundation has been on for literally 12 hours. And by the way, I did decide that it was too many stripes earlier. I have some thoughts. I think 
that even though the foundation doesn't look bad, there's no like creasing or crumpling or caking or separating. I do think that it definitely melted. I think that my oils definitely came through. I'm pretty shiny now and I was pretty shiny earlier as well. I would say that it looked pretty good, like totally intact until about the five or six hour mark. That's when I started noticing like significant shininess on my face. And as my oils came through, I found that the foundation started to transfer a little bit. Not a lot, but like, you know, if I'm talking on the phone, there's foundation on my phone. Yes, so it's not super long wearing and it's not super oil controlling. I just look shiny and it definitely like wore off. The coverage definitely isn't really there anymore. But if you just care about it looking nice and you don't really care about the long wearingness, um, and maybe you just have like a more normal or even a combo could probably deal with this um, or a dry skin, I think you would really like it. it. It looked really, really, really beautiful. I like it. I'm gonna continue to wear it. It doesn't bother me when my foundation wears off. I just want my face to not look gross. So thank you guys so, so much for watching as always. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.